couples, the last couple days. Um, starting to find some better beach glass here. I found some else, some racks. I see another one I want to pick up too. But first, let's see. Right there. Oh my god, it has a bossing on it too. I don't know what that says. I think it's a bossing. <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, I gotta stand back. Oh, there's a piece of pottery. <sighs> Crack. Okay, here's the one. Gotta check this out. Nothing. All right. It's looking a little better here. Water's way down, so that's a plus for today. All right, I'll be back if I find any. Got another one here. Aqua. Oh, look at this. Ooh, that's manganese. Nice. Joy found. Turn it around. Hey, okay. gang. I'm cool. Turn around. <laughs> that's a cold water egg. Good job, bud. Okay. No! Don't even think about hitting it. Hey, okay. Okay, I thought he was gonna use that log as a ball bat and hit it out in the lake. He knows better. <laughs> oh. These rock piles are pretty good today. Still a little windy, but it would have been unbearable out here yesterday. Alright, I'll be back. Look at this. That is a Lake Superior agate. Awesome. I can't believe I just saw it. Walking up here in this um, dry, shady area. He was left here yesterday. Oh, there's a little piece of aqua. Ooh, this is pretty good. I'm gonna look around up here. Yay! Well, today I spent the better part of the afternoon with my two sons out at one of our favorite uh, local Northeast Wisconsin beaches up here. We were hunting for all kinds of rocks for the most part. And then, you know, the beach class is always a bonus. I know I film a lot of that first and like I said I think in my last or hmm, two videos prior to this um, I'm working on filming the rock finds so many times though I'm just walking up the shore and they just it's like boom 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 you know they sporadically appear and it's so hard for me as far as what I'm working with which is right now my cell phone and that you know memory I have on it to uh record and keep everything and then it's hard to edit all that out so all right praying Christmas time <laughs> I'm gonna go pro <laughs> I think that will change everything so anyway my oldest son Joy found three uh cold water agates Lake Michigan cold water agates that are awesome they are better than any of the ones that I have ever found and he was very proud of them and I just I want him to see this video and you know be proud of the things that he found and so he can show them off to people because they are totally worth you know being shown off I will show them in better detail here shortly <laughs> this isn't working here um anyway yeah so the gills of November hit us finally up here right on time I want to say and yesterday it would have been like brutal 
to be out on the beach. It, you know, it's cold, crazy sustained winds of, I think at the lake shore, it was at least 30 miles an hour. Oh, the gale warning, I think it might be 32 miles an hour plus sustained for more than six hours. I'm a weather spotter. I should know these things, but the marine warnings I'm not very familiar with, actually. Anyway, all right. So I will uh, show you guys my uh, our finds here, I should say, not just mine. My boys are a huge help today. All right, I'll be back. All right, here's a quick little shot of the beach glass and the piece of pottery that I found just randomly you know i i have so much stuff like that someday i should probably do an entire video on this ridiculous collection of um old cracks and pieces that i found salt glazed um stoneware you name it i've got a lot there's my little lake superior agate that i found it is not wet right now um, it glowed. It was, I'm not joking. People that have hunted these up in northern Minnesota and elsewhere in the northern Midwest know what I'm talking about. These things stick out if, you, if you're looking for them, you know, and even if you're not, sometimes, I mean, especially when they're bigger than this one, it's like, whoa, what is that? And you pick it up and it's like this amazing jewel left from uh, ancient times, I want to say. This is the Huberlite. First one I've actually technically found in a while. Um, I will try and show it with my UV flashlight that I have under, uh, I'll turn the lights off and do that here in a little bit. But yeah, the rest of the beach glass, pretty good. Um, this is the day of the manganese glass. This one's just starting to turn. That was a really good one. And the one big piece that I did find in my video, um, it's dry now. No, it's not. <laughs> eh, some difference. You know, but under uh, sunny conditions outside and uh, the, the angle of the sun that it is this time of year, it, it really, it kind of shows it off just as well as it does in uh, early springtime. So, all right, next up is the uh, couple of cold water agates that Joey found. Here are the cold water agates. There are one, two, and this is the third that came from Lake Michigan today that my oldest son Joey found. And I got to say, I'm impressed with all three big time. He has started to really get an eye for uh, some of these. This is a gnarly one that I actually found. Um, just as we were kind of leaving the beach, the kids were, I, I sent them back to the car because they were starting to get kind of bronky with each other. <laughs> Um, yeah, this one's cool. Anyway, check out the points on this. I think they call it a quartz inclusion. It's not too often up here that you will find points on crystals. And the fact that this survived the insane tumbling motion of the waves on our lake up here, especially in the past couple of days, that's pretty cool to me. Um, yeah, he wanted me to put this in my rock tumbler and I was like, no, <laughs> it will be destroyed. And I kind of explained to him why and I think he gets it. Here is actually the first one that he found It's a honker. <laughs> That's what we say up here in Wisconsin. Honker is in big. Nice. Super awesome. I'm going to have him 
polish this by hand. So he kind of understands how it is to, uh, you know, if you really want to make something super shiny and smooth, um, he'll understand the work that's involved. And I, we talked about it on the way home. I have like a 45 minute drive home and he seemed pretty into that. Like he wants to do it. And this is the other one he found. And this is like a heavy beast of quartz and agatized coral here. Super pretty and cool. And I'm going to have him uh, hand polish this one as well. So, yeah, some remainders. I thought I brought this home. I thought this was a uperlite. It is not thus far. I'm going to polish it anyway and see what happens because I've actually had some the uh, fluorescent soda light comes out in them after you do that for at least a few weeks. Nice unikite found today. Haley Sadie's chain coral. I'm using a piece of mm, base rock is probably limestone. That's another one that I think I might have one of the kids hand polish. Just to, you know, be proud of stuff that they've found. All right, lastly here, I will show the Uper light that glows under a UV flashlight. Last fun fact of the night, the U.S. National Weather Service issues a gill warning for when winds are between, and they have to be sustained for at least 10 minutes, between 39 and 54 miles an hour. Have a great night.